Oh, he's just playing low. He's in his head. He's in his head. He's, he's in open. His head. He's wide open. Cracked open in the face. Hello everybody, it's Mario Manson and Ron Hunter back again with Subspace Simmer Series. Let's move on to the cave. Let me just pick up from where the story left off, basically. So Bowser made a hole in the wall. So play it against play it as Mario. Play as Link, as Yoshi, as Kirby, and as Pit. Crush a wall so it did not let that crush you. I need to pick that up. I think that hammers would come off and ricochet off us if we were metal. And then we have another crusher wall. We're going to outpace it. And that's why. So yeah, so there's a trophy there, and you gotta be really quick into grabbing it, because if you're not careful, you will get crushed. Oh yeah, and these things can crush you too. Forgot about that. It just it doesn't happen as often as the other big crusher walls. And I, I realized that it could crush you upwards too, so if it grew up. Okay. <laughs> I'm petty. <laughs> but yeah, if it moved upwards, you would uh Flame Pie, no! <laughs> I think that's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to throw it. You can platform with it and throw it all. <laughs> that comes in. And we got poison gas. So this is actually a hazard that just shows up in this level. But uh, we do get to see it a little bit uh, further on. Kirby making the mince meat of these uh, form platforms.
Yeah, now we don't have the charging hammer like we do in Smash 4. So you only really just swing it. It's a little bit like, uh, like speaking of King of Media Day, about his hammer, basically. It's the same similar concept. Final cutter. Nearly died, dude. Give us a little pot shots, with poison gas. Now, that one, I, it seems to go really fucking quickly. And then this one's right in the middle, so you have to actually get damaged by that, which kind of sucks. Now, I think I have actually full yeah. <laughs> I have died in that sequence because I didn't expect the platform to collapse. Okay, so it's not this one, it must be one of the future. It must be one of the future um, sequences where they have a tunnel upstairs and it's one of those hidden rooms again. Oh, and there goes the button off Princess Zelda. See now for Peach, that makes a little bit more sense with Mario closing in, but now that Mario and Link kind of understand what's going on a little bit better, uh, they both <laughs> make sure that the, the princess doesn't get damaged and doesn't get hurt. And I think this is one of the first times we actually see um, Bowser's clown copter actually in 3D. Meanwhile, outside <laughs> Castle DDD, we have a uh, subspace bomb. So ultimately, DDD must have done something wrong. Meanwhile, Master Hand out of fucking nowhere. So yeah, so <laughs> Master Hand being a being the boss <laughs> of Ganondorf makes a lot of fucking sense. Okay, so now we play as Lucas. We go to the ruins. 
like, and we actually go in the in the ruins this time. Not doing that. <laughs> Off the platform, jumping in midair. And I believe this is another area that we will be returning to as well. Trophy up here, but gotta be quick in grabbing it because uh, you can get crushed as well, which kind of really sucks. Oh, and get crushed again. I nearly fucking stopped my toe. Sequence, they fall in a, a pattern of three. And that's another crusher wall, so make sure that you either press the button or don't get crushed by it. <laughs> yep, so in the background, the door climbs. So yeah, the door's down here, it's just you gotta press one of the three buttons. And make sure to press the right one, because if you don't jump in time, you will actually get taken out. Like I almost did, but thankfully the flow that actually was there and was annoying me, uh, actually helped me. Oh, what? <laughs> I had a feeling that was gonna happen. Platform kind of 
I kind of took it as the platforms are running away from you, like it's still moving down. But uh, it's probably just the situation that the, uh, the level just didn't load the platform and it's just loaded back to where it was. Yeah, well, fade of black here. And randomly we have Ivysaur as a Truvy. No fanfare or anything, no battle with it, we just get it. Source. We have our second Pokemon. And another background that we can use in the stage builder. So yeah, Ivysaur, a lot more powerful than, than Squirtle. Uh, not as fast as Squirtle. But it's actually surprisingly on how good this Pokemon can be. Yes, Kevin Recovery for Ivysaur is probably one of, the, it's probably actually the longest uh, for Kevin Recoveries in the game. I think, I think Ivysaur is the longest, or at least one of. It, it's very close. Goodbye again. Grab the snap bomb. Goodbye, I'm <laughs> decided to take itself out. Yeah. Been a while, I was walking slow. <laughs> end up being a puzzle area of sorts. So if we don't get through fast enough in this little spot, I'm gonna hit this button, go through here. You can get 20 hoods, which make it a little bit easier for us. sequence here, uh, we will get the, the, the door. Yeah, 
they have a lot of leeway time with that as well. It's really strange, but um, I'm, I'm happy with that because, uh, well, I didn't mean to do that. I kept forgetting that. Oh, <laughs> it's tap jump in this game. you would think that in a Pokemon battle, uh, Charizard would be a higher level than Squirtle because uh, <laughs> Charmeleon doesn't um, evolve until 36, I think it is, to Charizard, so ultimately Squirtle could still be, unless, <laughs> unless Squirtle was, but even then, like, Charizard would be more powerful than, than Squirtle in terms of raw power. Like attack, attack stat and stuff. Though Charizard is weak to water, so that's not so surprising that a Squirtle could beat him with the right stats. But yeah, so now I get the the. <laughs> Ending sequence with, oh yeah, we caught the fucking Charizard that we were after. <laughs> Which is pretty cool. So I'm actually going to leave it there because I know the next level that we have, which is the wilds, is one of the longer levels in this game. So it's a little bit like the, the, uh, I was going to say Battleship Fortress, but it's not, it's not what it's called. <laughs> Battlefield Fortress, rather, is one of those, one of the longer levels in this game. So uh, I'm going to leave that for next time because uh, I'm already running pretty low on battery at the moment and um, not sure how long this thing is. It says it's got 16 minutes left which should be easily plenty of time but battery has let me down a few times. in the past, so what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to leave it here. Because I know the level coming up is one of the longer levels. And we join back with a familiar team that, uh... Excuse me. <laughs> Sorry. Yawning. Trying not to make it nearly out of the way. Join back with a team that we, uh... We played a little bit a while ago. Um, they're back. So yeah, we get to play as uh, Marth, Ike, and Mennonite, of course, in the wilds. So with all that said, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Subspace Emissary from Super Smash Bros. Brawl on the Nintendo Wii. This has been Mario Man 1000. You guys have a great entire night, and of course, take care.